G'day everyone, my name is Dominic from Tom's Outdoors and today we're at Blaring Dam with a video on trail runners versus hiking boots and which ones will suit you best for your activity. So today I've got a pair of Solomon Quest 3s uh, which are my hiking boots and Ultra Olympus 4s which are my trail runners. Now I've used them a number of times over the last couple of years for different activities, different trails um, and I really enjoy both of them but there are times where uh, one's better than the other and that's what we're going to be covering in the video. So one of the things you're going to need to consider when choosing between hiking boots or trail runners is weight. Obviously hiking boots will weigh a little bit more. Um, it's going to be a little bit more for your legs to lift each time if you're doing lots of hills. Um, but a lightweight shoe just keeps my feet feeling fresh. Um, each step is a little lighter. These Olympus 4s almost feel like a cloud with each step, whereas my hiking boots definitely going to know that you're wearing them, although it's something you get used to. So side by side, if we're just comparing the weight of the two, trail runners are going to win over hiking boots almost every time. So there's one point to the trail runners, but that'll carry us into our next step, which is durability. Um, and that's where the hiking boots really shine. The soles on hiking boots are made to withstand some more serious terrain. Um, they've usually got a deeper tread that's going to allow you to grip in all sorts of terrain, whether it's wet, mud, uh, slippery sand or anything like that. So traction's a big thing for hiking boots. And if I'm going on some you know, really steep terrain up and down um, and I'm carrying a heavy load, that's when I'll grab my hiking boots. You can see I've had these um, for a couple years longer than my trail runners. Um, they were my first pair of hiking boots and I still wear them today because they've just done such a good job. The laces have held up. There's been a few scuffs and scratches. The fabric is starting to go. Um, that's about three years of use. But the main thing with boots is that you look after them, treat them with the proper aftercare um, and you'll get a lot longer out of them. So in this category, if you're looking for durability, boots every time. So the next important thing to consider um, will be how they deal with water and along with that, uh, their breathability. Now, these hiking boots, my Solomon Quest boots here, uh, and most hiking boots will have a waterproof liner, whether it's Gore-Tex um, or it's a different membrane like Keen's own, uh, that's going to provide you a fully waterproof boot all the way up to the top of the boot. Now this is a pretty invaluable feature depending on where you're going to be hiking. If I'm going somewhere and the weather's mostly going to be dry, but you know, there could be puddles here and there or shallow water crossings. The boots are great there because I don't need to stop and take them off. I can just walk through it. Um, I can walk through wet grass in the morning and know that my feet are going to stay completely dry, uh, which is absolutely vital for most hiking trips because when your feet get wet, you'll start to get blisters, you'll get uncomfortable um, and cause some damage to your feet. It is great to have a waterproof boot, but with that comes with the downside of reduced breathability. And that's where the trail runners come in. So because these Olympus 4s aren't waterproof, that means that any time I walk through wet grass or a puddle, um, my feet are going to get wet. However, sometimes I will still choose my trail runners, um, even though I'm not, I know I'm going to get my feet wet. It could be really hot weather and I know that they're going to dry very quickly. Um, usually within about half an hour, my feet could be back to dry again. Um, and it's really valuable to have that breathability aspect. Uh, it's important to note that your feet will sweat. Um, you will have some perspiration when you're out there walking around. Um, with a Gore-Tex lining or a waterproof boot, you will get much more of a sweaty foot, um, which can also lead to the same problems with blisters and things. If I'm walking somewhere really hot and humid, uh, I do prefer to have the breathable trail runners because I know that I will sweat, but I know that it won't be a problem because my feet will dry. Um, they're able to breathe, and it is a very com comfortable experience in the end. If you're going to be hiking somewhere that's raining, you'll have to know whether or not you can keep the insides of your hiking boots 100% dry. Um, for example, if you're wearing shorts um, and Gore-Tex hiking boots and it's raining, if you get water inside the boots, they can take days to dry. Uh, if you get water in the trail runners, they can dry very quickly after the shower has, has passed. So uh, if you're doing a multi-day leg and there's going to be rain, you want to ensure that you can keep the water out of your boots with uh, shell pants or something like that um, to prevent water from getting in or you're going to have trouble getting the water out. If you're looking for something waterproof, you're going to take the hiking boot. If you're looking for something breathable, you're going to want to take the trail runner. Moving on to the next section, we're going to cover one of the most important, if not the most important factor, and that is protection and support. 
So the key here is that hiking boots will have far better ankle support and general protection uh, when you're out in the bush. When you're walking on uneven ground, uh, walking through shrubs and sticks and things like that, you want to protect your ankles and your feet. Particularly if you're wearing a heavy pack, you've got a heavy load, um, all it takes is a little rock to roll your ankle uh, and having that extra ankle support uh, is absolutely vital um, to prevent injury when you're out in the bush. Now when it comes to the trail runners, if you're concerned about support um, issues there, uh, it's going to come down to where you're walking and what you're walking with. For example, I tend to hike with quite a lightweight pack, a lightweight setup, um, and I find that I'm just as comfortable with low ankle support. You know, even if I do step on a rock, there is a chance of rolling an ankle. Um, however, if, if I've got a light load, I can usually walk it out and not have too much of a problem. So if you personally find that you're more prone to injury, you're probably going to be, want to be looking at a pair of hiking boots that's going to protect your ankles um, from any serious falls. If you're pretty confident in a pair of joggers, you've got a lightweight pack and the terrain's generally pretty even um, and predictable, trail runners will be just fine. So when it comes to protection and support, hiking boots are the clear winner here. Now moving on to comfort. It's important to note that the comfort category here is very much uh, comes down to personal preference. Personally, I find trail runners to be far more comfortable than a pair of hiking boots uh, in most applications. I find that because these trail runners are so light, feels like I'm almost walking with nothing on my feet, particularly when doing multi-days or through hikes. When I'm doing big days and long Ks, the trail runners are better for me. I feel like I've got less chance of getting blisters in trail runners than I do with hiking boots. So just to reiterate, the comfort category is very much personal preference, but personally, I find the trail runners are the more comfortable option. So just to wrap it all up, if you hike with a heavy load, if you like a waterproof shoe, you prefer added durability and support, and you want one that's gonna last you quite a long time, definitely suggest a pair of hiking boots. But if you're looking for a shoe that's particularly comfortable, very lightweight and highly breathable, trail runners are gonna be right for you. So I hope this video has helped you better understand the differences between trail runners and hiking boots, uh, which one's gonna suit you best. But if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Tom's Outdoors or send us an email. We're more than happy to have a chat with you and, and help you choose the right shoe.